So in this video, we're going to do a detached chain stitch, or it's sometimes called a lazy daisy, and you'll see why in a few minutes. So I'm just coming up in a random spot here. Um, at the moment, I'm using three strands of embroidery thread, but as with any of these stitches, you can use however many strands or whatever threads you like. So coming up at that point, and I'm going to go down at the same point. It doesn't have to be the same hole, but also it doesn't matter if it is the same hole, okay? We're just very close to where your thread is coming from. I'm leaving a loop on the top of the fabric there. I'm not pulling all the way through. And I'm going to come up again a little bit further away from those points where I'm coming in and going out. Just coming up over here and pulling that loop tight. So you can see I'm catching that loop in place. And then I'm just going down on the outside of that loop. It's like a little securing stitch just to hold it in place. And there we have it. That's a detached chain. So if you've done a chain stitch before, um, it's almost like the first and last steps together on your chain stitch. So I'll do it again just to show you. So up and down at pretty much the same point. Leave a loop on the top and I'm going to do this one going over this direction slightly. So I'm coming up inside of that loop and I'm pulling down in the direction the stitch is going. So the stitch is going from this point down to the side here. So I'm pulling in that direction so that I catch that loop nicely in there. And then I'm just going down on the outside there with a little securing stitch to hold that in place. Now, if you want, you can do those two instead of going in at that point where you're coming out, you can open it up a little bit. And again, come up inside that loop to catch and just down on the outside. So you can open it up a little bit as well. But the reason that this is often called a lazy daisy stitch is because when you do, when you kind of bunch the stitches together, it can give a very nice kind of floral effect. So I'll just do that for you here. I'll do one going up this way. And I'll do one going from the side. So you'll see I'm starting each of these stitches fairly close together at that kind of central point. you prefer to draw out this kind of shape beforehand, you can so that you know exactly where you're going. But this is just a rough example. Just make sure, see there, my thread is sort of twisted. So just make sure that your thread doesn't get twisted, that you keep that loop nice and open. And you can start to see how the stitch gets its lazy daisy name. And there you have it. So it's a nice um, simple one, simple but effective. So you can do them separately. Um, it's kind of as almost like little flower buds or even just little details on something. You can open that up a little bit or you can do them together to create a nice flower shape. You could also bunch them um, kind of going the same direction and give a different sort of floral effect or 
board effect. So just bunching them together like that. You don't necessarily have to go around a whole circle like I did with that one. Something like that as well. So that's all the things you can do with your detached chain. I hope you enjoy that one. If you do, do let me know in the comments. And I'll be back again with another stitch soon.